Video shows how quickly a storm rolled across the sky near Camrose and ripped down the stage at the Big Valley Jamboree. 35-year-old Donna Moore was crushed by a speaker and died from her injuries. Scott Roberts spoke with some of Moore's friends who were with her when the storm hit. I, I can't describe it. It's, it's just like, that's, that's the face I saw just before the storm hit. Tracy Timmerman breaks down, looking at one of the last photos ever taken of her best friend. It was snapped just a few hours before Donna Moore was crushed to death when the stage at the Big Valley Jamboree toppled in a massive storm. I was yelling at her, Donna, Donna, get down something, and then boom, the stage went out from under me. And this was the result. Timmerman taken to hospital with minor injuries, not knowing her friend had been buried underneath the rubble and didn't make it. I texted her, I said, Donna, it's Tracy, I'm at the hospital, where are you? And there was no reply. Oh my God, there are people in there? 75 others were injured in the collapse. All have now been released from hospital. While the cleanup continues at Canada's largest country music festival, forced to cancel a day early. <laughs> For other close friends of the fatal victim, it's been a weekend of mourning. Many remembering Donna Moore as a happy, fun-loving mother of two, who'd been looking forward to a weekend away. She was so excited. That's all she kept talking about was going to Big Valley. I miss my auntie. She was really pretty auntie. Meantime, controversy still clouds the collapse. Some festival goers insisting organizers should have warned them about the impending storm sooner. This is devastating new video emerges. But for now, many of those closest to the victim are chalking it up to an act of God. This friend still not able to part with the concert bracelet from that fateful day. I'm still waiting for, for that phone call to say, Trace, I made it home. Scott Roberts, CTV News, Edmonton. It was Donna Moore's third trip to the Big Valley Jamboree. She was a huge country music fan and was given the tickets as a gift.